Number 10 Stanford hold off call to stay in first place Berkeley. Cal made a gracious gesture Thursday night before the PAC-12 rivalry game when honoring Stanford coach Tara Vanderveer with a framed photo of the Bay Bridge for getting her 1,000th career victory. I knew they weren't going to give us a gift in a game, Vanderveer said after the 10th-ranked Cardinal barely held on for a 72-66 victory in front of 4,965 fans at Haas Pavilion. Cal 17-10. 5-10, PAC-12 fought to the end in dropping its fourth consecutive game to its Bay Area rival. Sophomore Alana Smith of Australia proved too much for the Bears with 27 and a rebounds in 18 minutes as the Cardinal 23-4, 13-2 took over sole possession of first place in the PAC-12. Stanford is a half game ahead of number 9 Washington and number 11 Oregon State, who both play on the road Friday night. It's a mindset of being aggressive. Smith said of her improved play this season. When you have that mindset it really helps. Cal defenders gave Smith too much leeway while focusing on Stanford's big three scorers, Erica McCall, Carly Samuelson and Brittany Murphy. But Smith scored from inside and out to shoot 50% from the field and made three of five from beyond the arc before fouling out. They didn't have an answer for her, Vanderveer said. Sagnelson added 17 points and McPhee had 11 after missing her first nine shots. The 6'3 McCall struggled for her fourth consecutive game but still added 11 points and 14 rebounds and made a pivotal play in the final 13 seconds to seal the victory. Michaela Cowling led five calories players in double figures with 14 points. Penina Davidson of New Zealand had 13 points and a rebounds. Cal was looking for a signature victory to impress the NCAA selection committee for a potential bid in the tournament next month. While the Golden Bears again played well it wasn't enough in the eyes of coach Lindsay Gottlieb. We've got to get one, she said of the final three games in the regular season. There is no question. Gottlieb said the Bears are one of country's the best 64 teams. But I don't think they give a lot of style points. I think everybody knows we're capable. I have confidence that we will. Stanford didn't take control until McCall got a jump ball call after a McPhee missed with 13.6 second left. McPhee then gave Stanford a four-point lead by scoring with 12 seconds to go. The Bears fell to eighth place, a half a game behind Washington State as Christine Anagwood had 10 points and five rebounds, the subpar performance for one of the country's best forwards. Neither side could pull away by more than six points throughout the game. The Cardinal looked like it was about to break out in the second quarter on Sagnelson's second three-pointer with 5-11 left in the half. But the Bears answered with an 8-0 run over the next 3 minutes 19 seconds to tie the score 29-29. Then it was Callender's turn. Cowling made the three-pointer for a 57-52 lead with 6.54 left to play. But Stanford roared back to tie it on McCall's three-point play. Our team showed grip, resilience and heart. Whatever you want to call it, Vanderveer said. The schools play at 5 p.m. Sunday at Stanford and then end the regular season in Oregon the next weekend. Cal will make a big impression if it defeats either Stanford over Oregon State in the coming week. Calendar's a tough team, Vanderveer added. I feel like it is a halftime talk. We'll get double the effort next time around.